Yay! Hello, my lovelies. It's Sue Verhoeven here, and I'm super excited tonight um, for tonight's show. I've already seen a lot of you live today, which was very exciting at the Lovelies on Tour. And tonight we're going to be talking about how we've got on in the last few days since Sunday. Hello, you lovelies. You're all jumping on now. Hi, Madge. Hi, Wendy. Let me know you're here. Say hello. Give me a wave. Tell me how you're doing. I know I'm live because I know that you're there. I've actually prepared something. Preparing stuff. Whoa, who knew? Actually, it's, um, I'm just going to get there while you're all coming on. Um, what am I looking for? Sent emails. Sent emails because I've got it all written down there. Sent. Right, I've got that ready. Supersonic. How are you all doing? Hi, Joe, sweetheart. I remembered that you asked about the probiotic earlier today. Are we friends on Facebook? Can you just let me know? Um, because I can send you a link on there. If not, um, I'll stick a link for you. Just tell me what country you're in, Joe. Hi, Elena. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sika. Um, right. Poor, who was it that couldn't get on today? Cor couldn't get on today because I think somebody inadvertently blocked her in the middle of Sunday's broadcast. So New Zealand. Okay, no worry. I'll send you a New Zealand link. Hi, Bonnie. <clears throat> are we friends on Facebook? Joe, are you on Facebook? If you are, send me a friend request. Yes, it is cool. Yeah, um, and there was also somebody else that's been trying to get on for ages and it won't even let her see any lives. I've tried to sort it out. I've looked stuff up, but I haven't managed to do it because as luck would have it, whatever thing you find that tells you something to do, you don't have that option on your menu. I've look, I've just like driven myself crazy with it. I need to do a little bit um, more research on that and not when I'm flying about because we did a live earlier because um, Debs was with the lovely Deborah Scott today. So we got to meet her online, which was fantastic. Now she's pulled up in her RV. I don't know if she's going to be coming back. Yeah, it's been ages. I'm doing okay. Oh, uh, yeah. So we're on Facebook together. I will look for you, darling, and I will message you a link. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it, Seeker? I mean, I see you here and there, um, but it's lovely to see you on live today. We've got 10 of you gorgeous lovelies on, which is fantastic. Um, I, you'll be glad to know, a lot of you will be glad to know, I've been in the kitchen cooking up a storm. I've got almost a whole recipe finished, but obviously I've had to do this. I haven't finished it yet. So also means I haven't eaten anything either today. But that's fine. That's fine. I'm glad you're doing well. I'm glad you're doing well. By the way, part of your birthday gift is in the box, he he. Elena um, has sent another box. It's very large. It's about a foot and a half by a foot by about a foot. So it's great big box, but it's got stuff for Finian and it's got stuff for Wink. Thank you for the thumbs up. It's always great if you give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. That would be fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, but Wink, as a lot of you will know, is away in Devon by the sea painting a house with some um, people that he paints with. So he is not going to be back probably for another week. He's been away since Sunday. Okay, fantastic. I will look out for that, Joe. Joe is saying she's going to send me a request. It would just be easier for me to send you a link um, than sending it on here because it will take ages for this to upload and then life will go by. And I, I, I was thinking, how am I going to get in contact with you? Because it's pretty impossible, I found, to actually look somebody up who is a subscriber obviously i've got 20,000 uh plus so it's quite a hell of an ask really um and not all of you have got your actual names you know facebook names as um youtube names so it gets it's it's really really difficult to actually pinpoint somebody um you know and there's still one lovely who sent me a gift or sent wink a gift um who i haven't been able to thank because 
I can't find her anywhere on Facebook. Um, I don't know what her name is on here. I haven't seen a message from her. So it's just like, I'm, you know, it's such a shame. The Kiwi picture will remind you where I live. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. So how many of you have been doing, just to recap from Sunday, have been doing the one-legged teeth cleaning um, challenge? Have any of you been doing that? Let me know. And also, if any of you have any questions, please uh, put them in capitals so that I can find them because that would be really good. Uh, we have a lot of aerial flooding and we're having strong thunderstorms. Oh, gosh. It's just been raining outside here again. Um, and it was incredibly windy all day, but the wind dropped. Well, actually, I don't know what time. I think it was about 6.30 when I came off the live um, earlier on today. Um, and it was pitch black outside and I hadn't fed the pigs. They all thought they were wondering where I was. Hang on. Just reaching i haven't got my my little wink to put drinks so that i can reach them and stuff like that because he's not here i'm kind of flying solo as you can see i'm using my lovely's mug which is very very nice i'm enjoying it a lot so any questions about how you've been getting on Yes, Elena, I made flapjacks, which is not the same thing as you. And I took a photograph of it all in the bowl. And then we just ate the lot. So I didn't actually photograph the flapjacks. But they passed my, they were vegan, uh, vegan version. And um, it, Finian and Wink liked them. So I have made something with the oatmeal. I don't know if I can find my picture on here. Um, ba, 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 ba. let's see if I can find my picture. Yeah, I just had a notion. I wanted something like sweet. Oh, yes, here they are. Here it is. Yeah, there it is. That was it all in my whizzer vegan um, margarine, and I also put some kind of vegan kind of, I don't know what it was, but it was gorgeous with nuts and stuff. There's some uh, brown sugar in there. Um, I think that was it, really. Oh, and some um, maple syrup. And that's it. Another picture of that. That's it all whizzed up and in a tray bake ready to go in the oven. And that was a close-up of what it looked like. And basically, that goes hard and crispy. And you cut it into squares and you just eat it and it's delicious. But <laughs> the next picture is just the oven. Wink made pancakes that night from your pancakes. And that's it. I, I didn't actually put the finished product up. So I'm sorry about that. But I have made something with them. It was very, very nice. But one-legged, right, Joe is, yes, Bonnie has been doing the one-legged um, teeth cleaning. Right, let me explain it to you, Joe, and for those of you who weren't on last time and didn't know. Basically, one of the things you can do while you're already doing something else, which you do twice a day for about two minutes, is if you stand on one leg whilst you're cleaning your teeth, it's excellent exercise for you. And one of the best benefits of it um, for me personally, is it improves your sense of balance no end really quickly. So um, the idea is, because um, a lot of people said they didn't have very good balance. <clears throat> so um, stand in front of your mirror like you do normally cleaning your teeth, but lift one leg off the floor. Now you can, you can lift it off literally a couple of inches off the floor if you like. You don't have to have some great leg lift going on. Um, but make sure that your you've the sinks in front of you so that if you have a wobble, okay, you can put your finger, just touch the sink, that'll be enough to stabilize you, or put one finger on the wall. I did a demonstration of it last time in the lounge, just running around with my laptop, balancing it on bits of sofa, doing 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 that for you. Um, what it does when you're on one leg, especially because you're moving this, um, 
you're moving your hand, even if you've got an electric brush, you're still doing this. That changes the balance in your body. So you have to make lots of micro movements in your core, um, which is good exercise. Um, and what it does is it improves your balance. So if, if when you begin it, um, you do left leg late night, right leg bright morning. Excellent. Madge has got a whole system. That's brilliant. When I first started doing it, I, I literally had to swap legs because the leg I was standing on, my ankle and calf muscles were really aching. Um, and I haven't done it for ages. I got out of the habit for some reason. Um, and I found doing my yoga practice that my balance was all over the place. It was just like, I can do this movement. If only I would stop falling over. So I just thought, Susan, uh, one-legged teeth cleaning, just do that. Um, so I've been doing it since Sunday. And today um, I was able to stand on one leg, uh, actually yesterday, one leg for the whole time. So I've now got a system for remembering which leg I was standing on. Um, so that is how quickly that's what Sunday, Sunday night I did it. That was the first time Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So that's four lots of, of two minutes twice a day because I did it this morning. Obviously, I haven't cleaned my teeth yet because I haven't gone to bed yet. So already I'm deciding that I can do something else with my leg rather than just lift it there. I'm playing about with tilting my pelvis forward, clenching my uh, butt cheeks, um, engaging, uh, lifting my knee so that you engage your uh, thigh muscle so that I'm already doing more with it. Um, and I, I'm sure I'm going to start doing leg lifts and side lifts and back lifts and high knee and all sorts of stuff because I like to kind of stretch myself. Uh, but my balance is already much better. So that's basically it. Please make sure that you have something just to touch. All you need is if you've got a wall, all you need to do is that if you're wobbling and it stabilizes you. And the other trick is to fix your gaze in one point. Don't be looking all around the bathroom because where you look, your head moves, that, that's a heavy bit of your body. It makes you wobble. So look at yourself in the eyes and think lovely thoughts about you while you are on your uh, one leg. So Bonnie is saying she still wobbles a little, but I bet that wobble has improved from the first time you did it. Am I right? Let me know. Let me know, Bonnie. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me look. Uh, yes, so Bonnie's done it. Um, it's love to have you, lovely to have you back on, Joe. Um, yeah, so Madge has got a great system for reminding, remembering what leg. Have you seen an improvement just in these four days? I know the mug is fantastic, isn't it, darling? <laughs> what side is that? I'm looking at the good morning, lovely. Obviously, it's not morning here, so I've got the have a fabulous day. I've had a fabulous day today. So far, so good. Um, no, I haven't made um, granola with it yet. That's We call that porridge in the UK. I haven't yet made any porridge with it, even though it's on uh, Dr. G's menu. I'm very naughty. I've just got so much other food that I need to eat, and I'm already making a dish tonight to use up stuff that I haven't eaten before it goes off. Um, hi, Jackie Babes. How are you doing? Um, no, I haven't tried lentil sprouts yet either. Um, but that is on my list. I'm going to be doing lots of sprouting. Actually, I'm going to. I've got a sprouter somewhere. I'm just. I'm going to have to look out. I don't know what. I put that in some place where I don't use it very often, and <laughs> I haven't seen it for ages. <laughs> yeah, Wink is definitely addicted to the pancakes. He really, really likes them. But I made vegan pancakes for our pancake day, Shrove Tuesday. And he was like, "Well, I could just make mine." I went but I'm making these pancakes. Yes, but, you know, and I was like, no, no, I'm making these pancakes, and they'll be enough for all of us. And they liked them, and they enjoyed them. Joe is saying, your balance is shocking, trying to hang out laundry, and nearly face plant the lawn every time. Bless you, sweetheart. I promise you, if you try this one-legged tooth, toothbrush, teeth, teeth cleaning, it will improve, and really very, very quickly. You will be surprised how much this exercise does for your body. And I actually got this tip from, I was, I, I was, I don't know, I was putting uh, something up probably a year or two ago about um, making chores um, into an exercise, which I know a lot of you know that I do. 
Um, you know, when I'm up the pigs out, I do squats and lunges and wide squats and narrow squats and, you know, side bends, I, I kind of twisting. I do all sorts of stuff. I don't just flop down and just pick up pig poo. I'm always doing something while I'm doing something. And as you know, I've started my yoga. Um, this is day eight today and the transformation in my body and my balance is absolutely incredible. Um, so uh, you will see an improvement there, Joe. Um, came in shopping with fried peas. Oh, sprouting jar. Oh, right. We're all off on sprouting. That's going to be fantastic. Um, hi, Laurie, darling. How are you doing, sweetheart? So I haven't seen your comment yet, Bonnie. I've got that one. That would be me. That would be me. No balance at all. I can't lift my knees or feet. Can you stand on one leg at all, even if you just lift your toe, you know, like a centimetre off the ground? Um, even that would do it. It doesn't have to be a massive leg lift um, at all. Uh, but I know you have bad knees, so don't, you know, check with your doctor. Um, but, yeah, this I was talking about my um, exercise and this chap said, um, actually, no, I, I met him, actually, in the shop. We, I bumped into him. And he just said, um, I asked my doctor what one of the best exercises to do is. And he said, just just try standing on one leg while you clean your teeth because it does all your core muscles, um, you know, and you can really make more of it than it is. You know, you can engage, you know, you can suck your tummy in, suck your belly button into your um, spine. Um, you can really, you know, you can make all these muscles in your torso really rigid, you know, and so that gives you like, it's like a standing up plank, I guess. Um, oh, 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 no. Hi, Debs, babes. Uh, so we'll be doing flips, clinkety. <laughs> yes, I will be. Right, somebody put a comment and I was just like, I was just got to it and it just went whoop. So I've lost where I am. So apologies. Um, right, it would help if I didn't have my palm of my hand on the board while I'm trying to use my fingers to move it up. Hey, Madge, you're all saying hi to each other, which is lovely. I love how you all chat to each other. Fried, fried pras. <laughs> fried bras sounds interesting. <laughs> um, yep, I will be doing flips soon. I certainly do. I, I start doing leg lifts and stuff like that. And what I might start doing is doing yoga poses when I can actually do them, um, which would be really good. Um uh, da, 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 where are you? Sue will be cartwheeling. Do you know what? It would be nice to be able to do a cartwheel. I could never do them as a kid. I was all, I was never, I never had the confidence to lean over enough so that I was doing a cartwheel like that. I was always kind of a bit like whoop, doing like that. My legs were never up at kind of 12 o'clock. They were always at about three o'clock. Um, but I used to be able to do headstands. But I wasn't very good at that, but I'm going to get good at that as well because the headstand is one of the um, exercises we do in yoga. So I'm looking over here because the comments are in a different place because I'm not streaming through, um, what's it called, Skype today. Manage world again. Yeah, oh, I'm glad you had a fabulous day. <clears throat> it was really great to meet uh, Deborah. Um, no, I haven't made any soups yet, sweetheart. I haven't made any soups. Um, but it's on my list of things to do, babes. Whoops, I meant dried peas, not fried peas, or even fried bras. <laughs> um, I'd love to make soups, but I can't because I don't have a clue how to make it. I'm going to make the best soups ever. That was never even though I can cook. Right, okay, I will do some soups for you because I think they're fairly easy. It's kind of adding things and flavors and then whizzing it all up in a blender. What is sprouting? Sprouting is when you take uh, beans, like dried beans, uh, like it could be chickpeas, it could be mung beans, um, lentils that are whole, not the split lentils, any kind of dried bean, and you soak them um in water and then you just they, they start sprouting their seeds so they little shoot comes out and in fact that's what bean sprouts are in um chinese food the kind of long kind of bean sprouts they are sprouted mung beans 
But all you need to do is let the little sprout come up and then you've taken something that's dried and it's turned into a live seed. And as you know, the seed has a, a huge amount of nutrients in it and you've actually got the, the little shoot coming out. Um, it's like when you do um, mustard seeds, turn them into cress. Sort of any seeds actually you can sprout um, as, as long as they've not, as long as they're dried or, or you know, and they've not been cooked at all. Um, so that's what it is. And they're incredibly good for you. And they're lovely in salads. They're really nutty and crunchy. Um, <clears throat> and they're very good to um, people use sprouted things to whiz them up to make dips and stuff like that as well. Um, did, did it was sprouting. Hey, V babes. How are you doing, sweetheart? Oh, look, Seek has got a much better uh, explanation me. It's the natural germination process by which seeds or spores put out shoots, plants produce new leaves or buds or other newly developing parts experience further growth. Yeah, so you're getting all seeds. When you grow anything in the garden, they all look like cress. There's a little white shoot and there's two little leaves. And it's those. You can eat pea sprouts, all sorts of things, peanut sprouts, you name it, you can sprout it. Um, I yum in sandwiches with vegan mayo. Yes, they would be fantastic. They give that real crunch and there's a nuttiness to it. It's, it's a whole new taste dimension from a chickpea if you sprout it. Um, really, really nice. And you can also do stir fries with them, just much like you know the Chinese do with their um, bean sprouts. Um, so where's Bonnie gone? Bonnie, has has anyone experienced improvement in their balance in these four days? I would love to know. Sunflowers. Oh, sunflower sprouts. Mm, num, num, num. So how do you sprout those, Wendy? Do you just put sunflower seeds in water in there with their little kernels on? That'd be interesting. Somebody is growing a load of sunflowers this year, so they're going to have loads of really nice sprouts. I don't know what my hair's doing. It's all sticking up like a Mohican. Um, so let me know. Same way, buy raw seeds. Yeah, just buy raw seeds. Quite right. And you can. there's loads of, uh, you know, raw stuff you can buy online, seeds and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> Joe would just be eating her sunflower seeds. I know I really like sunflower seeds, I have to say. Um, but you know, you get these ones that are in their shells in bags ready to eat and you're just left with a whole load of wood in your mouth. I don't know. You can't peel them. They're too fussy and you can't get them in your mouth quick enough. I don't know really what you're supposed to do with those ones. Often you get salted ones, which I wouldn't eat now, but once upon a time I bought them to try them out. I found them way too salty actually. And they went in the bin because I wasn't going to give those to the pigs. It'd be really, really bad for the pigs. Um, balancing thing is fun. It is fun, isn't it? It gives you something else to do while you're cleaning your teeth and you're doing it anyway. You may as well be doing something to help you with your balance. And what I have found already, in fact, I was telling Debs this today or well, I've spoke to her so many times today, I can't remember whether it was today or yesterday. Um, but I found like putting my socks on Rather than kind of putting my sock on and trying to get it on as quickly as possible before I lose my balance, I was able to just lift my leg up and put my sock on in a relaxed, non-panicking way and just put my foot down again. And I was just like, wow, that's an improvement. And when I was like um, in the shower today, um, when I was washing my feet, you know, I don't have to bend down and, you know, scrabble about, put my leg up on the side. I can just lift, you know, just high knee, put my knee up to my chin. Well, not that far, obviously, but like 90 degrees. And I can just reach down and I can scrub the sole of my foot and in between my toes and everything. And I'm not wobbling about in the shower, which is, you know, it's a very, very quick improvement. It's amazing how quickly your body will adjust, even if you don't have very good balance. It's just amazing. And there's when you've got a good sense of balance, there's just a lot more confidence in, you know, stepping over things, moving around furniture. You know, uh, it, it really makes a big difference. You, you'll be really be surprised. 
Um, no, when you are um, making sprouts, you put them in. You can buy sprouters, but actually, you can just put them in a in a in a bowl on your windowsill. You, you must change the water every day because um, they use the water. They swell up and use some of the water anyway, and then they obviously plants you know consume water. So that's what happens. Um, so, but you don't want the water to ferment so you keep emptying the water out and just i in when i was in eccles i just left them just proud of the water so they're not floating in water because i, I put so many in that the bowl i had i couldn't put them on a single layer but a single layer is gr uh, single layer is great um you can do them on kitchen paper as well as long as, long as you keep the kitchen pa um paper damp much like we used to grow runner beans as kids i'm sure you did that at school jackie you know, we all had our runner bean and our bit of blotting paper and our jam jar and we had to put it in the cupboard and airing cupboard or whatever and everybody had to bring their beans into school. It's just like that. So you don't plant them in soil. They're just, it's just, they're just sprouting water. Um, you, need, you need to know, you just need to know how to take the husk off in your mouth and always bounce. Oh, husk off in the mouth. Oh, that's interesting. I just ended up just crunching them all up until I had this kind of woody matter in my in my mouth. I was going <laughs> spitting it everywhere. Um, yeah, I did talk briefly about balancing this morning, but I didn't want to go into too much depth because I know that everybody that was on this call on Sunday was kind of game in to, to try it. So I wanted to see how you'd all got on. Um, Jackie, I've, I have a sprouting jar, which is like a kilner jar, but with a metal mesh lid so that you can drain the water off and fill it up again. Oh, that's excellent. You could do it in a jam jar, couldn't you? Although you wouldn't get many in there. You could do it in a jam jar or a big jar, and you could just drill some holes in the top or punch some holes in the top if you, if you didn't have one, a special one. Yeah, there will be lots of videos on sprouting um, veg. <laughs> Joe remembers that at school as well. So it looks like it doesn't matter what country you live in, we all grew runner beans <laughs> for, a, for, for a project when we were at primary school. All right, V, darling, just chill out, babes. Be positive. Love you loads. And I will catch up with you soon, babes. All right. Lots of love. Mwah. You bite open. Uh, Karen, you bite open the shell. That was our favorite special treat as kids. I hope when you visit Texas this year, you will learn to split watermelon seeds. Do you know what? I just crunch them all up and eat them. I love watermelon seeds. I never take the seeds out. I just eat them all up. And in fact, if there are any left on the plate, I scoop them up and just eat them. In fact, I love seeds. I eat lemon seeds, orange seeds, or pips as they're called. Um, and I used to, when I was younger, I used to crack open the stones from plums. I wouldn't do that now because, you know, I do want my teeth to last forever. Um, I would crack open the stones and eat the kernel from the inside. I eat um, apple pips as well. In fact, people would eat their apples and I'd say, oh, don't throw your core away. Let me eat the core. I think that's the best bit. So I've always eaten the seeds um, uh, from fruit. Um, I really like the bitterness of um, uh, citrus seeds or pips. Um, so I love it when I get one of those tangerines that's just got like four seeds in every segment. I just around crunch them up. Sometimes I leave them all to the end and then I just eat them all in one go for a full on hit of bitterness. I love it. Um Wendy's my balance is so bad I had to get a stool for the shower to sit and wash my feet and legs I start I'll start practicing while brushing my teeth and get balance back too many hours at a desk job and inactivity you see that's what it is um I was watching a video um oh whose video was it I was watching don't know can't remember but they were talking about, you know, if you don't, if you don't use it. Oh, no, it was in yoga today. She said, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. So part of the exercises we're doing is kind of engaging muscles that we don't use very often. And just in these eight hours of yoga, 
I'm so much more supple now. And I feel like when I'm kneeling on the floor, I, 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 do, I can just get up. I can stand up just by using one leg. I don't have to hold on to something. And, you know, I, I can just stand up just using one leg. So it's amazing. It doesn't really matter where you are unless you've got an injury or something, of course. Um, but, you know, you can get your body back into shape. Just listen to your body. Don't push your body too hard. Don't overstretch. Don't overdo it. Listen to what your body's telling you. Even if you do just one, you know, even if you do 10 seconds of standing on one leg and that's all you can manage to begin with, then that's 10 seconds because I bet you the next day you better do 15 seconds. And before you know it, you'll be, you know, be able to, you'll be able to swap legs all the way through a two minute teeth brush. You know, it's, it really is incredibly quick. Um, and if your balance, you know, Wendy, you sound like obviously you've got a, um, a seat in the shower because nobody wants to slip in the shower. That's just like a nightmare that just the thought of slipping in the bath um, is just horrible. So, you know, take it easy, make sure you've got something. You can even put your hand, you know, put your hand right there by the wall so that you can immediately touch it. You know, you can immediately, you, you literally, you only need to have one finger on something for you to be balanced. You don't have to be gripping on something unless of course you've got really, really bad balance. Just make sure that you've got something to hold on. I don't want anyone hurting themselves, but I would be really interested to see how you get on Wendy. That would be really, really interesting to find out. Um, V's probably gone now. I took horticulture at high school. Very unusual to have that as a subject class of like five people. Oh, one. Oh, that was really interesting. I've never seen a video of someone using a soda bottle to sprout seed. Ooh. Oh, you've even seen a video of a soda bottle. How do you get them out of a soda bottle? <laughs> they have to be shaking it for ages to get them all out with all their curly tails. Um, you may have to teach me to spit when in Vegas so she's ready for Texas watermelon and seed splitting. Oh, there's a contest. Oh, I'm always up for a contest. That'd be excellent. Oh, right. I, no, I've never eaten a cherry seed, actually, I have to say. I've never eaten a cherry seed. I'm still alive, so I'm, I mustn't have. Pumpkin seeds. Yes, I must try that. The reason I haven't put any seeds in the bread is because Finian doesn't like it. And it's the bread I use for him. And it's really irritating because I want to have them in there. I've got some seeds that have passed um, pumpkin seeds in, but I've had to whiz them up um, so that it's just like a powder. So they're in there, but... You know, maybe I'll just make one for me because he leaves most of it. I was showing he leaves probably two slices worth in crusts for every three slices I give him. I'm going to cut the crusts off and eat them myself um, this time. Apple seeds have arsenic in them too. Goodness me. I wonder how many you'd have to eat to actually get poisoning from it. Probably, probably two apples worth isn't a ton of them. Excellent. A ton of them. Hey, Beverly Babes, how are you doing? Oh, 21st birthday and he came home oh fantastic you're gonna have such a great day tomorrow lots of love to you sweetheart and thanks for dropping in oh he's coming home tonight oh excitement beyond all measure hi deactivated angel you're an angel babes lovely to have you i'm recovering from anorexia and veganism so what's the best seeds and nuts paired with meat? Soya beans are incredibly good and all seeds are actually very good for you. Um, you're recovering from veganism. Mm. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Excellent, Wendy, you're going to start tonight. Yeah, every little bit helps and you know, Lots of tiny little things add up to massive changes. Lots of little things, massive changes. Honestly, you don't have to be doing circuit training and nonsense like that. You can just do little things, little, little things around the house while you're doing other things. Um, 
You cut the bottle open to get the sprouts out. Oh, plastic bottles. I'm thinking of glass bottles. Okay, of course, yes. Got it. <laughs> yes, I should do that. I don't eat too much bread, really, and I haven't got wink here to woof it all down for toast in the morning, although I could freeze it, of course. Right, so has anyone got any? Right, let me tell you what I was going to um, actually talk to you about. Oh, Corrine can't post. I can't understand what's going on. Core is here, babes, but she cannot post. I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, she's been doing the one leg stand. She has to hold on. I need to use a cane to walk with my bad back, but I'm sure I'll get more stable. My core is terrible after five years of unexpected experiences. I love the way you put that core, sweetheart. Everybody say hi to core. Can you actually read? Oh, yeah, you must be able to read. Can you read the comments? I don't know if you can even read the comments. I'm sure everyone would like to say hello to you. I, I really don't know what's going on with this. And there's nothing really in Google either. You know, how to, you know, I, I, I'm working on it, but I couldn't get it done um, in time for this, I'm afraid, because I've been cooking. Um, your core will improve, um, core. It will be absolutely fantastic. Yay, they're all saying hi to you, core. Um, yes, but I don't want to give it to the pigs, you know. Re Although the pigs love it, it's not really the best thing to give pigs. But um, they get they get everything that <laughs> goes off. It starts going mouldy or is, is not fresh anymore. Um, yeah, I should freeze some, actually. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Thanks, Deb. He's here now. And he's just heard Sue and said, OMG. <laughs> oh, night, darling. April the giraffe is acting like an impending delivery. <laughs> You're watching that as well. Impending delivery. Gosh, she's really eking that one out, isn't she? <laughs> Bless. Oh, bye, darling. Lots of hello calls. She gave me the thumbs up as I'm speaking with her too. Excellent. Okay, brilliant. Debs is multitasking like a trooper. Um, Beverly, I've been watching April too. I, I keep thinking of Snow. Where's Snow tonight? Where is she? I hope she's not blocked. Um, she must be busy. I haven't seen her on for a while. Okay, so. Um, I said before when I was last on with um, Dr. Gilmore that a lot of these videos have got lots of real amazing information, but they're very long and it will be impossible. I, I can't even remember what was said on what video. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some short videos somewhere between five and ten minutes on subjects so that you can actually search for it. So. He asked me to send him some topics um, and we're going to crack out some videos together when he's free and then we'll put them on both his vignette channel and on this channel as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know, somebody, so, so um, there are lots of modulators here, just, uh, I, it, I don't know, I don't know basically uh, why that happened. Okay, so the topics I've given him, just 18 topics to get on with. I don't think I've had a reply from him. I might have had a reply from him, actually. I don't know, but he's away today, as you know. So the topics are, and if you think there is a topic that I haven't mentioned that you would like us to do a video on, please let me know. Okay. Um, so how the show came about, um, both of our stories and what we had in common, why we decided to do the show and you know, what we had found by becoming um, plant-based, uh, the benefits, just to set it up so people don't know, don't wonder why we're kind of going in there, sort of blind, if you like. Um, diabetes, type 1 and type 2, so all about how plant-based can help that. Obviously, we'll be mentioning our wonderful cured type 2 diabetic. Beverly. Um, Inflammation, uh, the 10 benefits of fasting. And I think what we'll do is we'll split that into two videos, five benefits and five more benefits, because the benefits themselves will take us 
too long to talk about, so the video will be too long. So I'll probably split that into two. Autoimmune diseases, inflammation in the body. I've already said that. That's a double one. So I've only got 17 here. Um, obesity and weight loss, mental health. Um, so that would cover things like um, depression, mood swings, irritability, um, just generally happiness and motivation, that sort of thing. Um, suggested reads and documentaries, things, you know, information where um, we, we've got our information and our source from, good sources that you can go to, books that you can buy to read more about it, find more about it. So we'll do one on that because we're always recommending stuff. And that, again, they're scattered through all these videos. Um, cardiovascular disease, energy levels, cholesterol, vitamin deficiencies, osteoarthritis and arthritis, uh, mobility and flexibility, um, the myth about plant-based diet being expensive. Um, don't all shout at me because I know some of you find it very expensive, um, but we're, we're going to do a video on that uh, because it's it comes up a lot. And there are lots, you know, as new people come onto the channel, um, we don't want to keep repeating things um, all the time because, you know, you people that are here all the time, um, you know, we're just going over things again. But do you know what? I still haven't got my head around diabetes um, and all the reasons, the whole insulin thing, because I don't understand enough about it because it, it's not affected my life. So I haven't learned about it. Um, so it will be useful because I can actually use them to make sure that I've got this information in my head. Um, what kind of things to eat and advice on transitioning to a plant based diet. So they're the videos that I'm thinking of. <clears throat> um, right. So let's see what you've been saying here. Um, Beverly, I've been watching April, right, cooking and cooking the instant pot too. Excellent. Uh, you're talking about time out. Are you getting an error when you type something? Oh, cool. Have you replied to me to that? <clears throat> I seem to have a frog in my throat. She hasn't replied to me. Have you got an, um, an error message when you type something? Somebody else contacted me and it, it won't let her even go on to my channel or look at any videos. It's just like she's completely blocked from my channel. Um, so, but we won't see you. Oh, right. Okay. Micro topic, micronutrients and macronutrients. Excellent one. I'm going to photograph this because whoop, it's going up. Excellent. Thanks for that. Um, sending the messages to court about hypertension. Okay, that's oh, did I get that one? Was that yep? Hypertension's in there. Excellent. She types, but it won't let her post. I have absolutely no idea, sweetheart. I really don't know, Cor, why it's not letting you in. So, um, uh, da, da, da. if YouTube has blocked your account, then it would explain not being able to see live streams. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, maybe try and check the, the status of your account, um, Core. Can you look at other people's channels? Can you get on somebody else's channel? Obviously, we don't want to lose you now, somebody else's channel, but why don't you see if you can watch other videos or if you could, can you comment on, can you comment on a video that isn't live? Can you leave a comment? Um, and can you comment on somebody else's channel? Uh, she might need to make a new account. Yeah, you could make a new account unless you've got videos posted on it. But the trouble with that, she's going to lose all her, you know, um, channels and things that she subscribes to. Um, give me a penny and I'll... Oh, right. We have got a... We have got... Somebody block cringy YouTuber troll just get that off goodness me 
Have you really got nothing else better to do with your time? Honestly, what a sad old life you must have. Right, let me just, I think I might have to, I don't know, can you, message deleted. Excellent. Block him. Can you block him? Just use second account to talk to Sue. All oh, right, okay. That's a good idea. Joe, make a new account, uh, Core. Just make a new account um, and then come on here. And maybe that would... Um... Oh, right, Adolf Hitler. Let's just get rid of him as well. Idiot, you absolute idiot. Hey, Susan, how are you doing, babes? Oh, I wonder if it is. I wonder if it is. I expect this um, missed another troll further up. Right. I As it's the same message, I expect this troll has got many accounts and he's going to keep coming up until he's run out of idiocy is all I can say. <laughs> So, any other questions? Any questions? Oh, just go away. Okay, all of you moderators, just watch these. He's obviously on a mission. If you, if you can go blocking it, I'm not going to give him any more attention or her. Probably a him. Um, so if there are any questions, how are you getting on? Um, any more breakthroughs? Have any, anyone lost any more weight? Um, let me know. Let me know. I, uh, I think I've lost three pounds this week. I'm not really trying to do anything. I, I guess it's to do, I don't know really what it is actually. I think I'm eating less because Wink's not here. So, so that's really good. That's really super. Um, what else have I found? Um, yeah, I'm just continuing to go from strength to strength, actually. So any questions? Anyone want to ask anything? Um, better, thank you. I'm glad you're feeling better, sweetheart. We've got some of our lovelies are in hospital at the moment, um, which is really sad. Um, right, okay. Probiotics are absolutely fantastic. Um, they just anything that you're putting in your body that's not good for you, anything. You know, if you work under strip lights, if you've got artificial um, kind of scents in your home, um, anything like that, um, any processed food, anything like that um, gets into your gut and it messes it up. So what a probiotic does is it combats that. OK, so anything that you eat that you shouldn't eat or isn't good for you to eat or that's processed. You know, I still eat processed stuff. You know, I'm not always chopping up my own food and eating my own food all the time, um, although I'm moving more towards that. Um, you know, probiotic will sort that out for you and it will cleanse your gut. The probiotic I use um, is a prebiotic, which prepares the gut for the probiotic so the probiotic can do more. And it's all bunched together with um, 14 digestive enzymes, specific enzyme, enzymes that help to break down specific things. So it's really, really, really good one. Um, so it, it, in, in it's proven to work all the way through the gut. Most probiotics die when they hit your stomach acid and your body temperature, okay? And lots of them are sugary dairy type drinks that you keep in the fridge. They are absolutely rotten and the um not rotten that's the wrong word they're they're hopeless they don't work they're money for old rope and i spent seven years buying one of those probiotics of finian because it's it was said to help um 
children with autism. Actually, if I'd got a decent probiotic into him, it would have actually worked a treat because he takes a probiotic every day himself and it helps tremendously with his skin because he has quite a lot of um, acne. In fact, not so much anymore, but he, he did have very, very bad acne. Um, and that, the, his gut's working better, which helps to make his skin better. So it's really, really good. It helps with bloating. Um, you'll have loads more energy because your, your digestive tract will be able to absorb more of the nutrients that you feed it. Um, and your skin is your biggest detoxifying organ. And that's what its main purpose is um, detoxifying. So when your gut is working right, it's your gut that sorts your skin out, that makes your skin work. It all works together. So it's well worth investing in a probiotic that works because the ones that don't really work are a complete waste of money. Um, so, you know, it's really, really good. Um, oh, 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 it's core here. It's core here. Have I missed her amongst all these... I'm not even going to mention. Where are you, Corinne? Yeah, with your whole name. <laughs> you made it. Well done. I will have to suggest that to my other lovely who can't get on. And I don't know if you're. Oh no, she can't get on at all. It won't let her on at all. Um, looking at veg caps. Looking at veg caps. Pointless. I don't know what you're saying there, Joe. Sorry. Um, it does say to keep in the fridge. So I was thinking they were live bacteria. Oh, right. Is that a brand you're mentioning? The ones I use are dry. They're in sachets. So you don't have to keep them in the fridge. You can keep them in a cupboard, keep them in a drawer, stick them in your handbag. Um, and they're activated when you add water to them. Um, and um, I make a, like, it's not kombucha. I'm not allowed to say that because that's a brand name. It's... Um, a probiotic type drink. It's got my probiotic in it. It's got um, an energy fizz stick in it. Um, I put my detox tea in it and it's got apple cider vinegar in it. And he loves it. Absolutely loves it. So it's just like, yes, combats all the Nutella. Actually doesn't eat so much Nutella anymore because it doesn't go with my bread. That's what he says. <laughs> and that's just no other bread in the house. He's not really eating any Nutella. Win-win. Uh, I know he won't be watching, so he won't hear me say that. <laughs> yeah. Um, da, da, da. Sorry, ladies, my hubby came to bed. Had to wait for him to go to sleep, but I'm back now. Yay! Jackie, you are up late, sweetheart. I hope you're okay. I know you don't sleep so well. Um. Also, probiotics help you sleep better because your gut's working better. Everything gets better. You have more energy. Um, and sometimes when you're overtired, it's really hard to sleep. Um, when you have more energy, you know, you, you'll fall asleep more easily. You'll get a better night's sleep. And it's really, they are absolutely amazing. I'm, I swear by them. But I know as I go through my vegan journey, um, I probably will move towards more raw, raw vegan. Um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what the food that is going to be served it is all vegan um in the yoga um in india where i'm going for yoga but i think um the food is is designed by a chef based on what you're asking of your body what you're doing and it's a kind of you know it's a whole holistic thing you know it's kind of meditation you know mindset physical it's also i'm going to be learning you know how to teach yoga you know how to you know correct positions uh, for people in my classes and stuff like that so and there, there'll be a lot of anatomy and stuff like that so it'll be full-on brain my brain will need to be firing off all cylinders um yeah okay joe will do absolutely i will um have a look at that for you who is not my mother my mother who is not my mother <laughs> i've meaning to say this ladies but just call me jackie because that's what everyone calls me yeah i call you jackie but um everyone will type your name that's what i do um so that that person 
as you're typing. Obviously, I'm not typing anything tonight because um, I'm not looking, reading comments while Jack's talking. Um, tried right. Tried right. Made rice out of broccoli. No, I haven't done that yet. I've done it with um, cauliflower. I'm going to be making some some rices that I can. If Finian likes them, I'm going to put them in the freezer to have with things so that he can kind of nuke them and have them. I'm going to try um, kind of making the rice and then kind of frying it like, you know, fried rice dishes. Um, you got it, Jackie. Yay. Oh, hang on a sec. Have I been misspelling Jackie for like forever? Jackie, 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 Jackie. Oh, of course, I can't find your comment now. Um, oh no, yeah, one eye. Um, da, 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 Bonnie, I'll need to watch what I missed. I had such a bad leg cramp, I had to go more. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry about that, sweetheart. What I did ask you was because you've been doing the one legged teeth cleaning, have you in the four days, um, noticed any difference in your balance or how long you can stand on one leg for etc i'd be really interested to know um yeah hello i'm home tonight yay deborah babes how you doing we, we keep missing you we do we do miss you on here it's lovely to have you back um joe can i just mention my bun knee is now pain free after two months of turmeric amazing stuff Turmeric is amazing stuff. I am so pleased to hear that. Tell us how much turmeric you take each day and how you consume it. That is just amazing. I I add it to most things I cook now, just like by the bucket load. Wendy Babes, lovely. Thanks for joining us. And um, we'll see you soon. Let me know how you go, darling. Oh, well, my leg hurts. Oh, Debs has got some advice for you there, Bonnie. I don't suffer from cramp. I'm really lucky. I've only had it a few times. I did wake me up once, and then it was like I pulled a calf muscle for about three days. So I know it can be, and I think my sister gets it as well. Um, I'll have to get them on the turmeric. Oh, no, that was something else. That was I'm, I'm mixing my advice up now. Love the stalks of broccoli. Yes, I love broccoli stalks. But I don't get to eat too many of them now because I always give them to the pigs because little Jagger loves them so much. So I don't actually, I, I, I used to, when I was any anything like cabbage or um, cauliflower, broccoli, anything like that that's got a big stalk, I would cut it in half and I'd cut out the heart of it and that, that would always go in raw. I'd never get to cook that because I couldn't resist it. Um, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You have already noticed an improvement. See, all of those of you who haven't been doing the one-legged thing, four days. And it's not, it's actually been, it's been half of Sunday, half of Thursday, and three full days. Quick, eh? It's quick. Hey, Chrissy, darling, I have missed you. Oh, sweetheart. That's why I've missed you. You've been ill, darling. Oh, goodness me. I'm so sorry for you, darling. I'm sure lots of prayers will come your way. Lots of healing vibes to you, darling. Oh, dearie me. I'm so sorry for you. I'm really sorry for you. I know that you'll be eating really healthily as well. Um, put time in everything. Time is really, really, really good for the lungs. Um, on my video for my medicine drink, I go on about which ingredient is actually good for lung recovery. Um, have a look and see which one it is. Um, and just put loads of that in what you're eating. Bonnie, all the way through the hip. That Debs all the way through the hip. Oh, gosh, cramp. 
Old wives' tale. Walk barefoot on a cold surface to alleviate leg cramps. Worked when I was pregnant. Thank you, Wendy. I know you've probably gone now. Um, that's a good cold, cold surface. You all could go and have a little walk in the snow barefoot. That's a cold surface. <laughs> oh, so sorry for you, Chrissy. Really am. And I know that you're all like guns ahead sort of going for your health and that must be I, I know how that must be like uh, hobbling you at the moment I'm so sorry stay positive just stay positive though sweetheart and rest up uh supplement didn't do well with the taste which supplement is that that you didn't do well with the taste yeah, we were asking where you've been. We did notice that you weren't about, sweetheart. I sent you a message today, but I haven't had a chance to see if you've replied yet. Um, take two a day, but today I took three weather change. I don't know what you're talking about. I've missed what you're talking about, uh, what you're taking. But I think you all know what you're talking about, which is the main thing. Oops, hang on a second. I uh, hope you get well soon, Chris. It must have been awful. Oh, look at all the prayers you're getting, sweetheart. I'm so sorry for you. Uh, I've got some kind of virus. That's why I'm home. Oh, gosh, no. I'm so sorry for you. Hey, Chris, how you doing, babes? Um... Turmeric. Ah, right. You don't like the taste of turmeric. Mix it with other spices so you don't notice it. That's what I'd say. You know, and if it's going to do you some good, particularly for, for why you would wish you, you could have it, it takes two weeks to change your palate. Just two weeks. So just add it, start adding it into things, you know, hidden with other flavors. And before you know it, you'll like the flavor of it. Seriously. Uh, palate is something that changes very, very quickly, which is why you can very, very quickly get into a habit of eating cream cakes or biscuits or chocolate or stuff like that that doesn't serve you well. Um, and when you stop having it and then you have it again, it's just too sweet for you because you've lost that sweet tooth. Uh, my mum took two to three spoons of sugar in her tea her whole life and then I don't know it was something I said to her just try it try not having sugar and she did it for a couple of weeks she never went back to having sugar in her tea ever and she was in her 60s when she did that so you know anyone can change their taste buds uh I got cramp and Jean said to put his bare foot on the floor. As time goes by, episode. Right, okay, feel better soon, Chrissy. Yes, do you know, Joe? I always think of Chrissy every time I eat a mushroom or I prepare mushrooms. I always think of you. Isn't that funny? Uh, Cor, are you a nurse from Bedford, Texas? Yes, she does. Turmeric. It was turmeric. Where's Jack? Jack is away for spring break. He was away for the weekend and then he was back um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to work. Then he was going away again today through Sunday. So he won't be here next week either. Um, oh, Chris, I'm sorry you're having pain today. And dizzy. Well, don't be doing any one-legged teeth cleaning exercises if you're feeling dizzy sweetheart um let us know how you go chris send me a message i love turmeric mixed with mixed in a juice oh what juice do you mix it with i've been making turmeric lattes actually just nut milk and turmeric and just like num 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 uh cod liver oil Ugh. Yeah, that is just, I, my mum used to make me eat 
malt extract and cod liver oil, like a spoon of it. Oh, I couldn't bear it. I couldn't bear any of them. I did it, but I didn't like them. Um, I don't, nobody suggested that when Finian was born, but it was something all kids had in the 60s. Um, Susan, now I live in New York. Right, okay. We, my nana used to drink. Oh, right, yeah. Hi. Hey, Sharon, babes, how are you doing? You're never late, babes. You're, you're here, and that's fantastic. Uh, there are several people with my name because of the Smith. <laughs> Do you know, I hadn't actually noticed the Smith, actually, at the end of your name. I just always think of Corrine or Cor. Took me a while to realise you were Corrine on Facebook and Core on YouTube. Honestly, away for a minute. I tried, but my mind was screaming. It's in your food. I struggle a lot adding new things, so I went with a supplement, pain-free for my knee. So yay, new turmeric. That as long as it's got turmeric in it, that's absolutely fantastic. Um. Oh, Chrissy's getting lots of love here. Used to love cod liver oil. Used to love cod liver oil. Um, oh, my birthday was fantastic. Had a brilliant time. Thanks for asking, Chrissy. In fact, I have a birthday card here. And Bev is Beverly's on, isn't she? Let me open my birthday card. Shall I do that? Because I've been waiting. Um, to open it because it's had Wink's name on it. Hang on a second. Oh, oh my fire is burning out as well. Oh, I have to put another log on that or put my jacket on. Okay. So this is a birthday card from Beverly. Are you still on, Bev? Beverly, are you still on? It would be awful if you weren't on. I'm opening it without you there. Okay, this pull cord is not pulling. It's not doing it. Right, okay. Gosh. Scissors. There we go. Oh my goodness! Oh, uh, the lovelies, and that's that's to wink and I. This one, Richard and Sue. So I'll wait to open these, Beverly. Is that right? I'll wait to open those. See, you only had to mention my birthday, and I'm still celebrating it. I do love to stretch things out. This is for me, definitely. He's got some kisses on the back. Oh, gosh, it's sellotaped up to the hilt here. Hang on a second. Oh, it's making a sound. It's, it's definitely making a sound. There's a sound. It's making a buzzing sound. Sending the three of you smiles and sunshine. It's got all oh, wishing, wishing you a day to sit back and relax. Oh. <laughs> that is so cool. Fabulous. Fabulous. Sue and bask in the glow of a happy birthday. Much love always and forever. Beverly. Up Beverly, upstate New York. I love the way you always sign that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, that's lovely. Wishing you a day to sit back and relax. Here we go again. And bask in the glory. I'm just going to play that in the background. I think. Oh! Oh, 
I've got a little a little purse here in my favorite color. Thank you so much, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you much, my nails. I need to get my nails done. Look how far they've grown out. They're horrendously long. Thank you, darling. That's so kind of you. I'm going to save the others for Wink when Wink gets back. Thank you. Do you look I'm all happy? The birthday girl returns <laughs> just a week after. Mm. Actually, it's probably more than a week since my birthday now. I'm on full birthday mode. It is a great card. That's so lights and all. That's so neat. It is so neat. Excellent, Chrissy. That's not usual. Okay, hang on a second. Oh, no. Hang on. My hubby's real name is Smith. Right. Um, yes, you are a tough bird, Chris. You're amazing. It's a vegan fruit juice you can buy at Walmart. It's 100% fruit juice. Cool. Lee says cod liver oil makes everything taste good. I have a plant-based omega-3 supplement, which Wink is taking because it's good for COPD. Uh, I just found out an old friend of mine was told he had stage four cancer. And most, oh, gosh, I'm so sorry for you, Seeker. That's tragic. Oh, dear. Chrissy's been to the doctors and they sent me to the hospital by ambulance because my O2 is at 89 at rest. O2. No idea what that is. I was admitted for a few days and then came home, went back to urgent care two days after and sent back to hospital. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry for you. Please look after yourself and just, you know, I know you're much more tenacious than I was with my back, but just create merry hell if uh, if you're not getting, you know, if you've got any doubts. Um, <laughs> Magic bullet. Fantastic. Oh, Sharon, your niece uh, is an Arbonne consultant, isn't she? Yeah, I, I'm, I use a lot of Arbonne products as well. Their products are really good. Yeah, get some. They're really good. I, my rhubarb is ready to make my rhubarb crumble smoothie. I just noticed it today growing tall. I'm just going to eat that, and I'm going to put it in all my stir fries as well. It's lovely. Hey, Leonore, how are you doing, babes? Your, your hubby's real name is Smith. So he changed his name, did he? It's finally cooling down a bit under the summer. So summer is coming, USA and UK. Yes, fantastic. It is, yeah. It's uh, My sister lives in Australia, Joe, and, um, yeah, it's it's cooling down there. And they're like, oh, no. And we're like, yeah, we've got ours to come, uh, which is fantastic. But it does work the other way when it starts getting cold here. They're just breaking into, like, much hotter summer than we get here. But anyway, we had a scorcher this year, so I'm not complaining. Um, Beverly, 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 Beverly. Oh, no, Beverly's gone. <laughs> it's just difficult, isn't it? <laughs> um Hang on a sec. Hang on. Oh, I've just whizzed up the thing um, and lost where I am. What's going on with my pad? Um, yeah, you've got lots of love and support here, Chrissy. Good advice from Core there um, about checking your spittum for the proper meds based on the virus or bacteria. 
Uh, oh, I hope we have a scorcher again. Although it's meant, meant there's no there's no no real hay crop either. The hay's all really short, so it just makes such a mess. You know, it's just like bits of it are only that long, and the pigs usually have it much longer. But at least it means Jagger doesn't trip over it, and they eat it all. They eat, they eat, there's less waste actually, but it is chopped really small. The hay from our scorching summer, and there's no straw. Goodness knows. Um, yeah, we've had 50 mile an hour winds today and yesterday. We're having some more later and some more tomorrow. In fact, it's windy, 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 weekend, sunny, sunny, sunny. So that's good. I know I'm very well loved, Susan. You're absolutely, I'm very, very lucky girl. You can bring that to Vegas, the sun. I think there'll be lots of, what can I bring to Vegas? Because the, they, they've already got the sun. It's going to be hot. Wink is overdue. Yeah, where is Wink? He hasn't come on tonight to say hello. He's probably with his mates, and to be honest, he'll be in bed to, by now. I'm pretty sure he will be. In fact, probably before I came on, he might have been, because one of them is sleeping in the lounge of this house they're in. So when that person wants to go to bed, they all have to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, you're so lovely. Right, ladies, let's all tell Sue how much we like. I love you lot. Right, Chrissy, what's worrying me is I thought I'd pulled a muscle coughing in the side of my left ribs, but the pain has got significantly worse. It's a deep pain and it feels properly deep in there. Oh, gosh. Get back there and ask them. Get back there and ask them. It depends where you've pulled the muscle. You could have pulled a muscle in your diaphragm. Maybe. I don't know. Because that would feel like it's inside and deep. I remember how much my diaphragm hurt. I had pleurisy a few years ago, got well, quite a long, probably 10. It feels like yesterday, but actually it was, Finium was really tiny. Um, and that was very painful um and i had dry pleurisy so my whole diaphragm underneath was sore so it felt like everything kind of like if you cut me in half the whole of the bit that you cut would 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 have a pain in it as well as all around your lungs um get that checked chrissy please get it checked Sue, I have a bunch of cute stuff for you, but I can't seem to get one of Oh, sweetheart, please don't apologise. I'm just like, the fact that you're thinking of me at your end when you're all not well is just like, just like, I couldn't wish for any more. Really, that's just, don't you worry. You get yourself better. We all want to see you better, Chrissy. You are a magnificent inspiration to all of us. And we all remember your story right when we started sort of, I think you were one of the first on, well, you were the first on, and I think it might have been beginning of November, end of October. So, you know, we're all very fond of you and we want you to get well. So don't you worry about me. You, you spend all your energy worrying about yourself, sweetheart, okay? Uh, you crack your rib. You can crack a rib coughing. It could be that. Uh, where is Wink? It looks stupid. <laughs> where are you there with no Wink? Wink is away in Devon um, on a two-week painting and decorating job um, with uh, some other chaps, and they're having a bit of a party. In fact, I think because they're getting on so well, they're going to have Sunday off rather than painting on Sunday um, as they're by the seaside. So I think they're going to have the day off. So yeah, I'm, I'm home alone without wink for two weeks. Um, uh, Chrissy, that could be another area of pneumonia. Did they do a CAT scan? Cora is giving you some more advice there. I'm sure you've already read this cause I'm way behind on the comments. Um, whoop. Oh. I think when I move the cursor and someone puts a comment, it just goes and just moves everything else. So I have to go back and find it all again. Um, uh, 
Uh, right, here we go. Hey, Mary Beth, darling. Lovely to see you, sweetheart. I wondered where you'd got to. You've caught one. I'm so pleased, darling. Um, yeah, ribs take eight. You can't bandage ribs and you keep moving them when you breathe. Um, they are sore. Hey, Connie, darling. How are you doing, sweetheart? We're still going. We're still going. Uh, lovely to have you. Thanks for joining us. Everyone's saying hello. My O2 was 85. Every doctor in the practice was in the exam room hoping I didn't pass out before I got to the hospital. Oh, gosh. Your, is that oxygen levels? Is that how oxygenated your blood is? Is that what you're talking about? I have no idea. I'm sorry. Deb's have stayed in Branson. She's hoping to meet some more lovelies in the area. So if you're in the area, um, Debs will come and pay you a visit. Um, if it's not too windy to drive, that is. Um, hey, hi, Joy. How are you doing? Love you too, babes. Lovely to see you. Thank you very much for coming on. Uh, ah, thank you. Yes, I had my colours redone on Monday. So it's kind of green and blue this time. And I'm going to refresh this with Chrissy's blue because it's got so much green in it this time. There are blue bits in it. It's really hard to see in this light. I've got a great big arc light on me. See there, you can see that. that it looks green, but it actually is cobalt blue, but it does look green in this light. Um, I'm going to add your blues. I'm going to put some blue streaks in it. So I'll... I'm ready to use those. Um, well, when this is faded, obviously, um, I'm going to use those. So thanks a lot for those, Chrissy. They're on my windowsill, so I see them every day. They might even be in some of my videos. <laughs> um, thanks, Deb. I am too. I love your hair. Connie, hey, lovelies. Thanks, Debs. I am too. Just dry winter days and mould. Oh, gosh, it's all whizzed up again. Arrgh! Bye, Bonnie, sweetheart. Lots of love to you. If you're still on for to hear that, because I'm missing these. The, the comments have all just gone all over the place again. Um, dum, 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 dum. Oh dear, that sounds awful, Joe. One second, one position, then the same position doesn't hurt a minute later. Yeah, it's just, um, I, I would, because, well, you can get pleurisy from pneumonia. Um, I'm sure your doctors know what they're doing, sweetheart. I'm sure they do. And, it's a shame Jack isn't here um, because he would have some, you know, advice to give you. You can all email him. You know that, Chrissy. Um, um, Bonnie's gone probably now. Good night, Bonnie, sweetheart. Well, I hope you might not have broken a rib. Um, I don't know. You could have torn a muscle off, off an intercostal mus muscle. Um but yeah, the, the, I know what you mean about the pain inside the pain. I did have pneumonia once mildly in one lung. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm just like bionic. Um, and that was, I was in my 30s then. That was partying, partying nonstop. Quick, see, wipe your face, just slip past the sauce on your face. <laughs> On your screen, you are hysterical, Chris. Chris is dropping her dinner on me. <laughs> oh, party time. We excellent. Sorry for me. Bye, Bonnie. That is not Chrissy prayers to you. Let's get better soon. Oxygen levels. It should be above ninety six. I think. Oh wow. So you're not getting your you're not getting enough. 
um, oxygen. How come Joy's messages are being deleted? Was Joy a troll? Why did Joy's messages get deleted? Right, sorry, 95% um, is better. So you're down to 80 something, did you say? I'm glad you're getting sleepy, Jackie. Uh, have a really good night's sleep. Oh, all the comments have just whizzed up again. Uh, lack of O2 in your brain causes you to pass out. Lack of O2 to your heart. Right, okay. Maybe she can come visit you while you're poorly sweetheart she's she's going to be um in your air for another few days yet because it's too windy to travel a lot so she is very close by i just yeah i knew o2 was oxygen but i didn't know that it was that you could get a measurement of it so i i wasn't sure if it was a typo I know the periodic table because the periodic table is one of Finian's favorite things. He studied it for ages. He made pictures of it. He's created it digitally. He, he's just like Mr. Periodic Table. I think he's got past that stage now, but uh, uh, good night. All right. I did just good night, everyone. All right. So Joy was accidentally knocked off. Joy, are you there, sweetheart? So she made loads of comments, but they've all been deleted. Sorry about that. Um, bye, Leonor, sweetheart. Lots of love. And enjoy safe travels. Um, but, 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 but. Pneumonia is extremely dangerous. And, yeah. <gasps> wow, Susan. Yeah, pneumonia is definitely not a good thing. Um, but it seems that um, Chrissy is fighting it well, even though it's kind of coming and going. Yeah, I know. I, I kind of, yeah. Don't be terrified. You're doing what you're doing and, you know, everybody's different. Um, wow, Susan, that is where well, you're here to tell the tale and that's the main thing. So Chrissy is in a much more, much better state than that um, at the moment. So um, don't don't get scared, Chrissy. Just concentrate on getting better. Visualize yourself getting better. You are going to be getting better. It's just let's speed it up for you. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if it's pleurisy. I think they would have spotted pleurisy, though. Pleurisy is incredibly painful. I had uh, dry pleurisy where... It's the lining between your, in, it's the lining that 
all your organs are inside. So when you breathe, your lungs slide on it and it goes like sandpaper. So every time you breathe, your lungs scratch on the inside of you, your diaphragm, scr everything scratches. Your, even up here, just my collarbones felt like I'd been whacked by a, like a big barge pole or something, like a scaffold pole. It was just like, absolutely. I mean, it actually, I, I, I had to hug my ribs to cough so that it, it didn't hurt quite so much. But there was one time when I coughed and it actually fell to the floor. It was so painful. Um, so it is incredibly painful. So maybe it's kind of going into pleurisy. I don't, I don't know, uh, but you know, go see your doctor again. I would. Yeah, no, that's cool. Susan, we're all real and we're all honest and we all say how it is here and you know, our, our experiences. So you know, that's what we appreciate and we're all here for each other. So, you know, that's really amazing. Um, got your hair MD today. I'll bet pleurisy is the pain they, sa they said I do. Oh, well, that's what the pain is. It's, it's pleurisy. It's pleurisy. It's like, it's like if you, every single thing, so from your, your diaphragm, all the inside of your rib cage, right up, because the cavity where all your organs are goes right up to the kind of inside here. Your back, your front, absolutely everything. Um, you can have wet pleurisy or dry pleurisy. Wet pleurisy is when the lining, and the lining goes all around the inside, and then it goes all around the inside of all your lungs and everything. So they're all kind of got a coating of it. And they, when you breathe in and out, they do this. And when you've got um, wet pleurisy, it's when that lining is inflamed and sore, just like when anything sore, only it's the incomplete cavity inside your chest that's sore. Um, and you need antibiotics to get that um, to go away. Um, and I was like 21 days. I hadn't even been to see the doctor. I was sure that it was... <laughs> Um, I had a temperature for over 21 days as well. So it really, really got a hold of me. I was kind of, I got to the stage where, well, I was making breakfast for my son and the doctor said, that's too much. You can't do that. And it was just like, well, I've got this kid and I'm a single mum and somebody's got to get him off to school in the morning. I had the whole village was picking him up and people were bringing me food. And if I answered the door, and this is because it's cold where you are, I would have to take, you know, like a, a big scarf and I would put it over my mouth like that so that I didn't breathe any cold air in. Because if I got slight cold air in my lungs, it would set off a coughing fit that would just go on and on. And coughing is incredibly painful with pleurisy, incredibly painful because, well, think what's happening to your lungs. They're going <coughs> like this. It's like, it's like being, it's like, being beaten up you feel like you've been beaten up by a boxer well and truly to within an inch of your life your whole everything in your torso just hurts so much and dry pleurisy is when it's dry so all of those slithery membranes are going <laughs> rasping which you know you can imagine the pain of that as well so both both of them are very painful um, but they, that does go down um, with antibiotics. Um, you know, that it worked a treat for me. Um, you know, but I was, you get, you're very, 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 very tired. And my doctor said to me, um, you know, if you get tired, you have to literally lay for one hour on the sofa or in bed doing nothing. You can watch television. You may not read. You may not use the internet or Facebook. Or I wasn't even on Facebook then. Um, you can watch telly because anything else is too tiring because you're doing something with your brain and stuff like that. So um, I took heed of that because she said if you don't hurry up and get rid of it, it could turn into ME 
And I just thought, I can't be having ME. I'm a single mum. I've got a small kid. You know, I need to, I need to be, you know, I, I need to be looking after him, you know. But what the reason I wasn't getting better is because just cooking him a couple of meals and shuffling about a bit was too much. So you have to really rest. Um, I know that's, yeah. <laughs> Good job, Dr. Sue. It does help to know what's going on. It really does help to know what's going on. And, you know, I I sat here and when I came back from the doctors, when they said, you know, because I was like, it's been weeks and weeks and weeks now. And in fact, it was over this whole instant that we realized that my mother had Alzheimer's because one day she would know that I was ill and the next day she would be like, oh, I didn't know you were ill. And I was like, something's not right with mum. So it was that, because I was literally ill for like six weeks. I was like completely debilitated with it. It was just ridiculous. Um, But my temperature went, but I wasn't getting any better and I was just exhausted all the time. And um, I, I, I just sat down and I just thought, right, Susan, you have to get over this now. You cannot be having ME. You absolutely, you cannot, or, or what's the other thing, chronic uh, fatigue syndrome. I was like, I can't let this develop into that. And as I changed my mindset that I was going to get better, that was the moment I turned the corner and I started getting better. And it's kind of like, I do feel that you can kind of think your way out of some of these things. It's just like, you know, I made a decision that I had to hurry up and get over this. And I did, I got better fairly quickly after that. So it is what a positive thinking, it's like, it really works. I know it sounds like woo woo, but um, it does work. Um, yes, I was a smoker. Good job, Dr. Sue. Temperature goes with it. You're on meds, right? Good. So you may not get a full blown like so. I had after chest tube was removed from surgery. Yeah, you can get it. It mine started from I had um, laryngitis, and I was really skint. I didn't have any money at the time, and I couldn't afford to go and buy the ingredients for my medicine drink, so I didn't bother with it. And what used to stay in my throat went down onto my lungs and I got bronchitis. It's the only time in my life I've had bronchitis. Um, And because that went untreated, I got pleurisy from it. So it was all my own fault. It was just that I didn't think it was worth spending that money on me. I thought I would just fight it off on my, my own. And, it, you know, sometimes, you know, you need to just put a bit of money down for your own health. I learnt my lesson that time. Um, I'm not a smoker and I have chronic bronchitis and pneumonia, which almost put me in the hospital twice. You don't have to be a smoker to have it. It's just a bacteria that you get. And, you know, like I usually, if I do get a bad cold, I lose my voice. I don't actually lose it, but I get this really deep, husky, sexy voice, which I I love. My dad completely loses his voice. Um you know, my sister gets bronchitis straight away. Um, but I, you're, once you've had it, once you're more susceptible to, susceptible to it. So I have very carefully anything. I'll just ring my doctor and go, right, I've got a thing. It's not on my chest yet, but I need the antibiotics. He would just send them to me. Um, so, I, you know, I basically um, very carefully over about the next sort of six or seven years, um, I didn't deal with any colds on my own that I got because I didn't want it to go, oh, I know what we do every time we get this. We get bronchitis and we get pleurisy and then it goes on forever. It was just like, uh-uh, I needed to break that cycle. So I, I was a bit of a – I only had about three rounds of antibiotics um, over sort of a few years, but um, I didn't want to be that person that got bronchitis over and over. Every time I got a cold, it turned into bronchitis. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry that you get it. 
Um, but the pain keeps getting worse. So I wonder if I need a run. You might do. You might need another run of antibiotics. I would literally, I, uh, it's probably too late there now. Your time, yeah, of course it is. It's gone six. Um, I would be straight on the phone to your doctor tomorrow morning and just and tell him what's going on. Yeah, pleurisy does, mate. You, you literally cry with the pain. It is literally, I, I thought I had a kidney infection to start with because your lower back, you know, your diaphragm's all down there. Uh, it's, literally, it's like you've been beaten with a scaffolding pole. The, on my collarbones, like, you know when you have a bra strap or something that's on your collarbone and you put a rucksack on or a handbag on or something heavy on your on your shoulder and you're like, oh, hang on a minute, and you have to re get your bra strap out of the way because it's uncomfortable. Well, it was like having that uncomfortable bra strap there and someone just going thwack on it. it that is how I used to describe the pain. Um, just like, you know, just touching, just touching your your collar or even, well, you, would sh you have to shallow breathe, but if you took a kind of a deep breath for some reason, it would just be literally like being whacked. It, 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 it's absolutely unbelievable pain i think having a baby is less painful i don't remember the pain of childbirth or actually being in labor for a day and then ending up with a cesarean uh, but i do remember the pain from pleurisy because i i had it for so long i got to describing what it actually what it feels like um yeah it's a lot to deal with there an antibiotics help to coughing can create pleurisy. I didn't know that, Sharon. Plus, as it turns out, I'm allergic to doxycycline and penicillin, and those are the two heavy hitters to combat pneumonia. Yeah, they have alternatives. So I'm allergic to penicillin, and, and that's when we found out. They gave me penicillin, and my tongue started swelling up and everything. I th then not only was I in pain, I was just, like, itching everywhere, and they were like, don't stop taking it straight away. And in fact, I did get given penicillin accidentally when I first got my cyst by a new doctor. He didn't read my notes at my ex-doctor's practice. Um, a nebulizer at the doctor's office. I'm home now. Oh, who's home now? Someone's home and it just whizzed up. You're home now. I'm glad you're home, sweetheart. I'm trying to quit. quit. I'm trying to quit smoking. It's getting ridiculous how often I'm getting sick. It's my last vice. You're a smoker, Chrissy. I bet you can't smoke through this, though. I bet you can't. It'd be too painful. There is a brilliant book by a woman called Susan Hepburn. It's easy to remember because of the wonderful Audrey Hepburn and Susan is my name. That's how I remembered it anyway, but you all know me and what my name is. And it's called Stop Smoking in One Hour. It's amazing. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <clears throat> I highly recommend you get it. Um, there isn't an audible version of it, but it comes with a CD. It's absolutely incredible. How to how to stop smoking in one hour? Or stop smoking in one hour by Susan Hepburn. And I actually wrote to the author of it. I sent her an email because I was just it was just so incredibly brilliant. Um, and she sent an email back to me. And the reason she wrote the book, she's a hypnotherapist. The reason she wrote the book is because she lost her mother to lung cancer at the age of fifty-four, and she just didn't want she didn't want anyone else to have to go through that so that's why um she wrote the book so that will really help uh mine come out of nowhere i woke up in the middle of the night and thought i was having a heart attack oh my goodness me what's that is that um what's that mary beth cramp Asthma attacks. My asthma came in later on in my 40s, very sensitive to mold. You know, Corey, are you on plant-based? I don't know if you're on plant-based. 
fully plant-based, but Jack had asthma and it's gone since he went plant-based. Um, so it's definitely going to help with uh, respiratory uh, disorders. Madge, Chris, this is the place to be if you want support to squit, to squit, to squit smoking. Yes, it's the place to be. Do you know, I mean, you've probably read loads of books on it, but the actual withdrawal from nicotine, it isn't even as uncomfortable as a mild headache. It is a feeling of kind of, I don't know, am I hungry? Am I thirsty? Am I, it's, it, all it is is that, and we give into it. Um, it it's the withdrawal, and that goes after two weeks. It's the mindset. It's the brain, the brain set. Chrissy, are you near Branson? Chrissy's is Oh, Sue, you aspirated that stuff into your lungs. What stuff is that? Um, thanks, Elena. I have restrictive lung disease when I didn't improve at the end of one month at the initial hospital. They were going to send me to NH. HW events, my family fought for my life. Sweetheart. I get bronchial pneumonia when I get colds. I have inhalers on hand all the time, unfortunately. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. Can you get pneumonia shots? I still haven't had the flu jab. I'm so naughty. Mind you, I'm kind of between doctors. I still haven't filled the form out, but I'm not going back to the one I was at when you all met me. Asthma at 41, susceptible to major flare-ups from mold and broken. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry for you guys. Had a bout of pneumonia shots. This was the first year. Really? Oh, that is just Sod's law or Murphy's law. Haven't we all been incredibly strong? Yeah, we're all courageous go-getters. We are. We are all courageous women. Madge, gosh, maybe Dr. G should, should have this as one of his topics, difference between all these lung conditions. Yeah, that's a good. I'm just going to photograph that as well. So I remember. Just taking a photograph, taking a photograph. Uh, where is that? Yeah. Got it. Good idea, Madge. I get the husky voice too. When they call the doctor, tries to get me in the day and see my doctor eight times in two weeks, June never lied to keep me out of hospital. Goodness me. Seems to be everybody's had a blue of this. Oh, pleurisy. Mary Beth, thanks for clarifying that. I don't plan on packing them up. I broke them up and flushed them. I hope I can do this. You can do it. You can so, so do it. It's a decision. Oh, I've missed some comments because it keeps going up. It's like really annoying where it does. Bye, Laurie. Sorry, I'm shouting like she can hear me, like she's in the other room. In case I, um, I side around the front exactly where my bra. Yes, just take your bra off, darling. Just get that bra off. Um, so YouTube will probably think this is some <laughs> naughty content because I've said that. But you know, just you don't want anything around you. You just want to be warm, snuggly, buggly, soft things around you. You know, and and get ready to i i let me see if i can shake i would hug myself like this and <coughs> cough like that and if i didn't have my hands wrapped completely i was incredibly thin at the time i was about seven and a half stone oh seven about under a hundred pounds probably um so i could wrap my arms right away around me to kind of you know save me from the coughing um uh, don't wear your brush right now yeah deb said the same things deb's okay that's uh, probably probably three and a half hours 
Yeah, they are, aren't they? I wonder why that is. I wasn't allergic to it as a kid because it used to come in white liquid medicine form when you were a kid, and I loved the taste of it because it was probably full of sugar. Um, I used to really love it. So I know that I wasn't allergic as a kid. I, was n I wasn't allergic to anything um, for most of my life, uh, but then I became allergic to house dust mites, and that, that, they, that's gone now. I'm not allergic to them anymore, but I am allergic to my new thing is allergic to hair dye and penicillin. So um, you can take big pills. We're going to head that way, Chrissy. Okay, I'm going to go. See if you're glad you made it through and keep kicking. But when it comes around, yeah, no smoking for me now. Wow. Uh, I'm so pleased for you, Chrissy. Good for you, girl. Oh, goodness me. This, it's awful that these pleurisy and every oh no i just caught up and it's flicked up again um okay gotcha oh dearie me as literally as fine took an hour woke up felt awful could taste the sickness yeah it comes up really quickly that i that's why i do my medicine drink the millisecond I get that kind of, oh, maybe I'm coming down with something. And then you say, oh, no, maybe I'm not. Maybe I, you know, but actually you're always right. You always know it. Um. <laughs> Dev, you're great. We'll, we'll sort you out, babes. Yeah, you, that's brilliant, Madge. Brilliant advice there. Yeah, I did. I was a smoker. Uh, the stuff you said you coughed up and it went into your lungs. Maybe I misunderstood. Oh, yeah, there's there's awful stuff to cough up with bronchitis. It's like thick, green yuckiness. But you you kind of can't cough it up because it's so painful. It's, it's a different way to cough up you know, stuff from your lungs. It's a kind of a, you have to kind of do that rather than, <coughs> that doesn't do anything. That's all in your throat. You need to kind of hoik it up. But that it went on for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, just like nonstop, because it makes it all the time because there's so much infection. Every time I get a food, I get bronchitis, I didn't do it this year. Uh, everyone's different. I've known somebody who gets sick from the flu shot. Yeah, you know, everyone's different, but the rule of thumb is that it's good. Um, the flu shot is a dead virus. It's impossible to get sick from it. Uh, hold a pillow to your chest when you cough. Yeah, that would be a good thing to do. Oh, goodness me. Uh to hold against you when you when you go uh, when you cough I think that's go ugh when you go ugh <laughs> when you go ugh <laughs> uh, it really does help uh, if I'm up for a visit not I don't know if I'm up for a visit right now it seems like such work to even get up and share maybe i'll feel different in a few days when you're passing through because it'd be nice to meet you in person oh i hope you do you know what a visit from deb's would definitely cheer you up and it don't make no never mind if you're in your pjs or what the kitchen floor looks like um so just don't worry about that but i i know if i were you i'd worry the same thing but really don't worry really don't worry you're amongst family here d darling Oh, right. Well, maybe that is. I'm just going to have to turn down the years then because I don't want to be allergic to any more things. <laughs> so as you get older, you get allergic to more stuff. Hmm, maybe your body becomes more sensitive. Some people carry disease and never get sick. Some people carry disease and never get sick. Yeah, that's true.
The drink's really good. It, it definitely, it's re really, really good. I've got friends that have been taking it for years that swear by it. I've got a friend that's always, every time of year, she posts it. And, and then I'll go, oh, this really works, it really works, it really works. Bronchitis is yellow, not green phlegm. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of a lime, limey, yellowy green, isn't it? It's not like, it's not like, I was going to say, broccoli green. It's like, yeah, it's just not good. Oh. I don't know, actually. Can't remember. About a year, I think, something like that. Taste buds come back really, really quickly, really quickly. Um, my aunt is allergic to it. She's allergic to eggs. Allergic what to? Phlegm. <laughs> Penicillin, I expect you mean. It's just I was just reading comments about the colour of phlegm. <laughs> I think anyone would be allergic to phlegm. My <laughs> aunt's allergic to it. She's allergic to eggs. Yeah, quite a few people funny when Finney was little he would get bright red marks on his face wherever scrambled egg had touched his skin but he wasn't actually sick from it but of course I was too scared to give him another one but then I just thought oh well he wasn't ill from that and like a few weeks later I gave him another scrambled egg and the same thing happened and it was just you know but he he didn't do eggs <laughs> long goner eggs anyway that's fine because I don't want him eating eggs anyway they give you a tiny bit of the virus when they get in the food. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that as well um, with the live vaccines. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Elena, yes, then you can't have it. That's right. Hi, Tech 56, how are you doing? Chrissy, I still smoke between two to four cigarettes a day so we can help each other. Go, girl. Oh, that's interesting, Sharon. We'll have to ask Dr. G on that. Okay. Night, night, Madge. Well done, because it's, oh gosh, it's two o'clock. I think I need to be signing off now. You're like a time traveller, two hours have just disappeared. <laughs> I know. This is what happens with my life. I've replied to your email, by the way, Madge, um, and I need to actually sit down when I can actually focus on it rather than just going, oh, yeah, you're right. yeah that'd be good. I need to really think about what you said because they were brilliant, brilliant, brilliant things. Um... That's all right, Chrissy. We're just delighted to see you here and we're here to support each other. You know, everybody that's kind of, you know, on here now, we're all on this journey. We're either all fully plant-based or almost plant-based or quite a lot plant-based um, and we're all getting benefits from it. So, um, you know, it's it's okay. You know, this this... This is for you. We do this for you. And if you guys want to talk about what, that's why I ask you for questions and what you want to talk about, um, because it's not all about me and what I want to spout. No, not working uh, tomorrow, Chris. Um, I am going to yoga at 11 o'clock. So as long as I can, be, I'm still in my yoga gear. Maybe I'll go to bed in it and just <laughs> get up ready to roll tomorrow. Um, oh, my new yoga pants have arrived. Who would like to see my yoga pants and then I'm going to go? I, I These have been here since this morning and I haven't had a chance to open them so I've been busy. My new yoga pants are awesome. I'm just hoping that they're going to fit because I've no idea what size it will come up. Can you guess what colour my yoga pants are going to be? just got to it says cut me but I don't want to do any cutting because there are things that don't want to get cut by a pair of scissors especially if they don't fix they're expensive 
but they are made from recycled, they're recycled fabrics and they're environmentally friendly and all that sort of thing. I used to be rubbish, it says on them. Aha! Yoga pants, yoga pants, yoga pants. These don't look like the ones I've ordered. <laughs> Dough! Right, okay, let's look at these pair then. They look massive as well, so maybe the medium was the wrong call. Anyway. Oh, yes, I did order these ones. They look different, though. Here we go. Look, they've got the proper yoga waistband. I've just got a normal waistband of mine, and they get in the way, so it's like that. I thought they were more of a petrol blue colour, but they've got this cool thing there and then they've got more cool things here so that's this pair i should be trying them on tomorrow after a shower and seeing if they well i only need to try one pair because they're all the same size but honestly when you're doing that much yoga just let every the washing machine's on for like five things it's such a waste of washing but you know i'm not i'm not doing hand washing for anybody life is too short for that Anything needs hand washing, it goes in the washing machine, and if it ruins, that's the end of it. That is this pair. They look like there's something wrong with them at the back. Don't think they should be having some weird bulge there. But they're nice, aren't they? These are, look, it's got the world on it. Can you see? I thought that was very good. So that's those ones. As you can see, I'm going for a bit of a blue theme. And this pair, oh, I mustn't mix up the bags in case it's got the name of them, size. Oh, see, I've messed up already. I've messed up already, girls. What is this? Oh, I don't know. I think they all say the same thing. Right, this is the third and final pair, but they've given me a $50 voucher of 50, 20 pair, 20, 50% off, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't inwardly digested the email. Uh, to buy, I might buy some yoga tops. Look, these are nice. Actually, in the flesh, I think these are my favourites. What do you think, girls? I am UK, I'm a size 12, um, like a medium usually on the bottom. Definitely, you know, the, the yeah, Tiffany blue. They're not really Tiffany blue. The, the, these were the bluest I could find. I've, I've just been, I've been scouring the internet and I just got fed up of not ordering anything. So um, Huckleberry tea colour. <laughs> ding, ding. Blue all of a sudden, I'm buying blue things too. <laughs> yeah, I'm a UK 12. They are nice, aren't they? I've been 8 to 10 here. Yeah, I think so. I dropped down from a tall, curvy leggings to one size. Woo, woo. <laughs> That's cool with the world. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? I thought it was good. I like all, but the last. Yep, same here. No, Sue. Not Sue and the... <laughs> I wanted some turquoise ones, but they didn't have any. They, they didn't get all other colours that I didn't want. Um, yeah, they're my favourites. I think. I think I'm. I'm. I think. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I think the world one. I think these ones. They're not at all the colour I expected them to be. So they're my least favourite in the flesh. But I shall see what they look like on. Of course, if I look like a goddess in them all, I'll be keeping them. <laughs> okay. Uh, gone from 22 pounds to 12. Wow. Well done. Excellent. Sharon, superstar. I am going to go. Um, the reason I am going to go, Debs has got her red beans and rice pot done. Fantastic. Camo pink. Yeah, I'm going to get some pink because I'm going to get some. I'm just going to get, I'm just going to be living in yoga pants. I'm just going to be yoga woman. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go now because I need a bathroom break, as Jack would say. I need to go to the loo. 
So I'm going to go now because I'm starting to do my wiggling toilet dance here, which will make you all feel mighty seasick. Chrissy, sweetheart, a gentle hug. But I mean a big bear hug. And I want you to get yourself better, girl, OK? I want you to get better. Um, lots of love to you all. If you need to chat at all, Chrissy, message me. You know I'm there for you all the time. OK, lots of love to you all. And um, thanks for joining me. Mwah! <laughs>